Welcome to the Robert C. Williams Museum of Paper Making, Paper Play Activities. My name is Anna and I'm the Education Curator for the Museum and today I'll be showing you how to make pictures out of paper loops. So we're going to need a bunch of paper strips to get ourselves started today, which I just cut from an 8.5 by 11 sheet of computer paper. These are cardstock pieces of paper here. And we're going to be turning those strips of paper into loops that then we're going to pinch into different shapes. So these are each a half an inch wide, which I measured out with my pencil and my ruler, and then I cut into strips. Now one of the quick ways to make a bunch of strips the same size is I'm going to line up a few of my strips here, and then I'm very simply going to fold that pile of strips in half and then using my scissors I'm going to cut a few inches down and then I have about six strips which are going to be all the same size and then I can cut at the end here and I have another set of strips that are close in size so that'll give me a set I can make for patterns. They don't all have to be the same size, but I do recommend cutting a few that are the same size so that if you want to make a picture like a mandala or a flower where you need petals that are all the same size, you can. So again, I lined up those strips, folded it in half. I'm going to make some this time. They're a little bit shorter, so I'll have some smaller loops, leaving my other piece to be bigger for some longer loops. And I'm going to make a few out of green as well. Line up my strips, fold them in half, trim them down. And you can leave some fully half if you'd like to get some nice large loops, or you can cut them down further. So that gives me a lot of strips to get started with to make a bunch of shapes. So I'm going to take these paper pieces and I'm going to want to give them a little bit of natural curl. That way I get a nice smooth paper loop. So I'm going to give them a little bit of natural curl there. And then once I have a good number of strips curled, I'm going to go ahead and secure them with either tape or glue. If I'm going to glue them, I'm just going to run the glue on the edge, bring my little piece around, and hold that piece together for a few seconds. Again, I'm going to rub the edge on my glue stick, wrap the piece around, Hold it for a few seconds. You can see this is a shorter piece, so I've made a little bit smaller loop versus a longer piece like this one. If I give it a little bit of pre-curl. It's going to make a much larger loop.
now that I've got a good number of shapes ready, I am ready to start pinching them into whichever shape I like. So if I make a single pinch on one end, I'm going to get a teardrop shape. If I make a second pinch on the other end, folding that loop flat in half, I'm going to get an eye shape. If I fold back the opposite direction and flatten it down so that I have four folds, I'm going to get a square or I can twist it a little bit and I'll get a diamond. If I want to make a triangle, I start with a single pinch on top and then bring my thumbs up and pinch the sides. So again, single pinch on top, bring the sides up to pinch on the bottom. There, I have a set of triangles. I can make my pink loops into a set of squares there, or diamonds. And then from there, I can use those shapes to create a variety of pictures. To start with, I'm going to need a sheet of 8.5 by 11 paper that can be my background. And I'm going to cut it into a square, but you can cut yours into a circle or a heart or any shape that you desire. So you can see here's the image I started with, my 8 by 8 square background and then my shapes that are on top. The great thing is I can dump them off and I can create a brand new picture. A hungry caterpillar. A mandala. I can make as many pictures as my imagination allows. Thank you for joining us today for Paper Play.